Welcome back to 10 Minutes of Shop. As always, please join the Patreon. This week we did an extra episode. It's pretty good. We're going to get back to stand-up reviews soon. So let us know if, you, if you're on the Patreon what uh, reviews you want seen. Um, people are making clips of the Patreon, oh my God. Now, which we don't want to encourage. But it's, <laughs> if you put it in the Discord, it's great. I have a show October 15th at the Ontario Improv with Jesus Sepulveda. Come check it out. Yeah, that reminds me. I'm going to be in New Orleans, daddy. Oh, shit. Ever heard of it? Um, I'm going to be in New Orleans uh, up in like in the middle of October until the 25th. I have a show on the 24th at Howlin Wolf, and I have a show on whatever that Wednesday. I'm not good at this. Whatever that Wednesday is at the Proving Ground <laughs> or no, the Hi Ho Lounge or something like that. Nice. I'll get better at plugging these things as time goes on, but you can always check mm-hmm. my socials. So I'm going to be in New Orleans. Um, but anyways. That's not why they're here. That is not. Oh, one last thing. Sorry. There is one thing. We do early access of this show. Oh, on, on the Patreon. On the Patreon. And but also anyway, we're going to try yeah. to get to the uh, Spotify Timos. Oh, yeah. Are yeah. people... I saw one guy wrote about that. Are, yeah. are people asking about that? There's some comments on YouTube. All right. Well, hopefully I have some time this weekend. You know, I'm that white boy that worked too much, but I, I will upload Spotify just for you guys because we get nothing from that. But for some reason, there's people on the YouTube that are like, oh, you do YouTube? <laughs> They're like, what about Spotify, B? Yeah, they really want the audio. Yeah. Audio is king. Let's not forget about that. But that's not why they're here. That you? is not why you're here. You're here to watch 10 minutes of shop. So play the chin clip, start the timer now. Do you want to tell the people about your little friend on your... Oh, yeah, sleeping on the big lead. So this right here is actually Tank's daughter. Oh, shit. Tank, the, you know, the famous dog that Shab uh, gave back or gadouched in some way. This is Tank's daughter, Annie. Wow. So I rescued her from a no-kill shelter. That's not like no-kill, um, like the animals is like no-kill, like some... Uh, Dogs of comedians that have never done well at stand up. Yeah. So, vlog <laughs> I thought I was like, should I say that awful joke or should I keep it to myself? But I said it. I said it. So, yeah, uh, Annie's going to be here. Annie, what do you, do you want to ask Annie any questions? Oh, yeah. Well, Annie, what do you think of uh, Brendan Chop? Vlog Oh, shit. She oh, dogs. wow. Wow. That's what good. good. Fuck, yeah, what a good dog. Don't look at me like that, Annie. Some would say the best dog. <laughs> all, uh, right. all right. Well, speaking of Annie, do you look at this post right here? Posted by uh, Salary5432. Oh, wonderful Salary5432. Truck walk incoming, dude. Ooh. We got Andy stitch. Letterman uh, bringing up Brendan Schaub to the stage with a dude with a cat shirt right there, dude. Isn't that mm-hmm. weird how this guy has a cat shirt in this picture? Great company. Never heard of it. Yeah. Well, homeless cats be. Oh, shit. You fucking idiot, dude. Dude, everything goes over my head. There's like not a <laughs> chance, dude. I feel bad for this dog. You forget to feed her sometimes, I bet. <laughs> that's so funny that I didn't really... That is crazy. Yeah. If that's Photoshop... I don't know. Yeah. Let's just act like it's not yeah, no, crazy. We're, we're well done. Well done. Yeah. Uh, all right. Now to the clips, B, what you guys are all here for. Uh, by the way, I swear to God, dude, if you get rid of the dog, I'm going to be so mad at you, dude. <laughs> yeah. We'll never give you up like Shab does. Oh, my God, dude, I, I think people like it when the jokes go over my head. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. I think it's a it's a bit now. Uh, this one's posted by Addies and Baddies. Ever heard of them? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's called Brian Callen. <laughs> Callen cancels is a. This was hot on the Discord. People were discussing it. Brian Callen cancels T Fat K at Skankfest. Let's see this. Sorry, uh, Brian Callen is stuck in New York and Fighter and the Kid might be canceled no. tonight. No. There's, laughs. there's crazy. Flow. It's not. No, no. It's we're they're ma- we're trying to make it work. Why? Why try? Why try? <laughs> wow. Yeah. And then Joe DeRosa comes out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that could have been. Yeah. They. What was the reason that Brian said he couldn't make it? He was stuck on a. It was like a flight issue, I think. Mm. Yeah. Where do you think he was coming from? Melbourne. Melbourne, uh, Australia. From New York, dude. Do you not listen, <laughs> <laughs> Melbourne, Australia? <dude. laughs> From Isn't New that York. in Australia or oh New England or God. something? <laughs> it's seven days ahead. That's for sure. Uh, but then, of course, Brian makes it, dude. So now we got the Skankfest right. T-Fat K clips. I'm sure more will come. I don't know if there's some sort of embargo on Skankfest clips. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because you have to pay for it or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but this one's posted by Rel- uh, X Relativity called Skankfest Vegas. Let's see this. Whatever. Brendan's gay, dude. How about that? Oh, Jesus. Brendan's gay! Brendan's gay! <laughs> Brendan's gay! Brendan's gay! Keep your arm close to your body. Dude, I bet you Brendan punches like a bitch. Ooh. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Dude, I wouldn't say that to somebody with CT. Oh, he might yeah. forget. It looked like he was really going to punch him for a second, but then he's like stopped at the last moment. Yeah. Like, wait, wait, wait. I can't do that. No, it looks like he full on punched him, dude. He punched. Well, it's the side, right? I want you to look Let's at, watch it again. Break I want it you down. to see one thing here. Look at this. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me put on He definitely winds up. Look at this. The chair. Watch the chair. Chairs I was looking at the shoes. Oh, of course. Dude. How can you not win this Brendan Schaub? <laughs> Look at the chair. Uh-huh. Watch the chair. See how it oh, lifts up, dude? Oh, wow. The chair lifts up. That's a real punch, B. Yeah, that looked like a threatening punch there. And I, does he connect, though? He just decides it, right? It looks like at the last moment, maybe he decides, oh, I can't really punch this guy in earwaves. Let's see here. I like the zoom. Great job by the cameraman. Thank, thank him. But look, look at those. The shoes are blockbuster. <laughs> is Luis wincing? I can't tell. I don't know. I wish we could zoom in. I don't know how to do that. Is Yo Kratom like the the um the company that's uh in the like is that like the diet or the Coke of the world of Kratom? Like <laughs> Happy Hippo is Pepsi Yo and Kratom. Yo Kratom is Coke. Or Yo Kratom. That sounds like some sort of item you'd find in a Bethesda game, like Starfield. Oh like, yeah. Got my Yo Kratom. I, I, you are yeah. addicted to Yo Kratom, dude. <laughs> You have to take Yo Kratom to get through level 59. <laughs> yo, oh, yo I don't have enough Yo Kratom. We're going to crash the ship. Plus 600 damage resistance. <laughs> yo Kratom. Um, what's it called? But I think Yo Kratom is the venue. I could be wrong. Oh. So there. this is the Yo Kratom room. There's a hippo room. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Is there a helix room? A helix mattress room? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's an on it room. Everything is branded. Now it's like podcasts are like football now. Yeah. I mean, like Chick-fil-A stadium or whatever, but it's yeah. podcast is a little bit uh, more blockbuster of the stuff. We we do ours in a, in a, <laughs> we do ours in Raising Cane's arena, <laughs> our podcast. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is actually the Wix room. Yeah. And there's, you know, the website place <laughs> Wix, <laughs> which also speaking of Raising Cane's, listen to our latest raccoon Tweeties episode. Hot, 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 dude. Yeah. I've actually never been. Oh, to Raising Cane's. Yeah. You got to check it out, dude. Yeah. Um, take the little puppo there, dude. Yeah, you want to go there, Annie? Annie, you get some chicken. Black bossa. Oh wow, she just says one word, huh? <laughs> uh, That's the only word you know. It's the only word I taught you. <laughs> yeah, you actually, you know why? Because there's tank. I mean, that's the only thing tank learned. You yeah. Know? Well, what if I ask her a question? Does she say something else? Like eight inches. <laughs> 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 they won't see that. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Hey, Annie. Uh, where do you work at? Eight inches. <laughs> She's like, this mic smells like shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't make fun of Gerardo. Be cool, Annie. <laughs> That's Be my cool. job, Annie. Be cool. Uh, all right, so this one's called. <laughs> <laughs> this one's called. It was Callum the whole time. Posted by Haphazard. Great guy. Never met him. Let's see here. Look, there's a lot. There's a lot to hate on. There is a lot to hate but, on. But I've never. But I've never. Have you ever heard me say a bad word about you? You've never said a bad word about anybody. You're that's so funny. I mean, that's not true. He's like, I've Roll never, ever, back. I've never, I've never. Have you heard me say something? Like, <laughs> like, yeah, he doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know. That's so funny. That's actually shows he's getting better, though. Mm. Just to even ask. The empathy. Well, yeah, like the, he's at least has the uh, the smarts to be like, wait a minute, I should check to see if what I'm just said yeah. is right. Yeah. Unlike me, the first two clips. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a lot, there's a lot to hate on. There is a lot to hate on. But I've never, but I've never, ever, have you ever heard me say a bad word about you? You've never said a bad word about anybody. You're the nicest person I've ever met. But, <laughs> but, I do. but these people hate you so much. I don't understand. I'm trying to understand. Well, it. you well, know what it is. He is six four with all that fucking hair. This is new. And shoulders for days. It's a little annoying. It is. You know what I mean? Like he's kind of good breeding stock. So it's fun to kind of, even I kind of secretly talk yeah. behind his back. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm I do. aware. I'm aware. I do. What, I, I, I make fun of his speech. It was you all along. It was never Bobby <laughs> Lee's ex-wife. It was you. No comment. The whole thing. I did not. I didn't say that. I didn't say. It. We broke. I didn't we say. Broke it. open the case. Yeah. I said right no. here. Callan wishes it's he was always what you least suspect. <laughs> you <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> we find out it's Brian with a fake account like this. That's what oh, they just I said, dude. <laughs> yeah, just. They just said that, Brendan. He says the same thing over and over again. Hopefully these clips don't get gadooshed. If they do, they'll be available on the Patreon. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. But they could be. Seeing well, hopefully that Luis is cool. is this weekend. They, yeah. They might get gadooshed. Could be searching for it. Yeah. Timos may be on the 10 most or the top 10 most wanted list for gadoosh clips by uh, 
We'll see. I don't want to. Yeah, I've already said too much. Yeah, you said way too much. You, yeah. like, I was like, say less, and you were like, more, more, more. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Listen, daddy. I'm straight talk wireless, B. <laughs> I just go. All right. I will say, dude, I'm fucking. I, you know, I don't want to be that guy, dude, but I want to rub it in everyone's face and stuff. You know, people, oh, Gerardo, what the fuck? You're always talking to like, shop's going to make it. Mm. Look at, look at shop now, dude. Fuck. On the skank fest stage. Fuck the haters, B. Saying to the haters, look, I'm at this good, co- this great yeah. comedy festival amongst very good comedians. And uh, not Name that. in the waters. Maybe people are, you know, cerebral or conscious enough to know this, but I just want it to be very fucking clear that I'm a huge fan of fucking Brendan Shaw. <laughs> right? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Same with you, right? I'm a huge fan of everything that Shaw does and watching it unfold. Yes. Like this. He's. On a special, or not, I mean, he's on a um, a festival, and he's going there, and he's getting a little bit gadouched on the stage, probably. Owner alert. alert. I'm like, oh, <laughs> tell me. I can't wait to see. They're chanting that he's gay. Yep. They're talking about uh, the Reddit gate. This is uh, this is uh, pure Chang's uh, catnip. Yeah. And I love it. Dude. So very political answer, but yeah, I'm a I'm without any fucking stipulations. I'm a huge fan of Brendan Shop, dude. Oh yeah, I like Shop. I feel I feel like we're watching the salad days of the world's best comedian, Daddy. <laughs> the you world's know? best comedian. He's <laughs> going to maybe he sees the future of stand up, and he's getting us there faster than anyone else, right? Maybe he's like idiocracy. When you say that, <laughs> when you say the future of stand up, what do you mean? You just mean idiocracy or what do you Yeah. Mean? What's funny in the future, dude? Just what's funny in the future. So what's funny in the future is, um, I was in, but and like Kratom and Mexicans and hot Cheetos yeah. and, uh, that guy's hot. Yeah. I'm gay. Yeah. Okay. These fat people are like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does he? Yeah. No, that made me laugh. He's ahead of his time, dude. Right. Mr. He's just getting Whole there Foods. faster than all of us. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, just wanted to be very clear because uh, Brendan is experiencing his renaissance, dude. And I'm here to say, fuck you if you hate Brendan Chobb, dude. Yeah. I have a feeling somebody's going to be like, the dog is trying to get out of there. It's so bad. <laughs> but dude, no, she's Annie loving it. Annie loves it. Right, Annie? Yes. Blog bustle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making the dog lie. Uh, all right. So this one's called, this one's posted by what? Money time? Money time with numbers. Uh, it's called Theo pretends not to know which comic would hit on Bobby Lee's ex. Uh, Let's see this, dude. Dicey, dicey. No, yeah. I didn't know. Theo? What are you on the outs about? No, I think after you and your girlfriend broke up, I think there was a moment where you thought I was going to try to make a move, I think. Mm hmm. And I remember you being a little bit strange to me. I'll tell you what. I think out of all the comics that would have made a mood, that you had the better chance, the best chance to get in, maybe that's what it was. Thank you. <laughs> and I did not make a move. You would never make a move. Not a chance, brother. I could name you who did. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Really? Dude. Oh. Dude. <laughs> there was, let me guess. Were they black? Oh, wait, wait. What? Were they black or white? No. White. Off white. White. The Off white. <laughs> The mm-hmm. blacks don't do that, man. They don't. They're loyal, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> was he was he white or black? Was he big brown? <laughs> was he big brown take That's down? A, yeah, that would be more not guessing. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, dude. Who do you think it was? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's such a so it's so hard to tell. I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to put on my detective cap. Blog bossa. Blog bossa. It was Annie, dude. It was the little dog right here, dude. It was. Oh, yeah. You wanted to go live in a new house with Kalila? <laughs> hmm? Mm? You'll never leave me. No, we would never give you up. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, dude. You can bite Gerardo all you want. Oh, no, <laughs> dude. Uh, what's it called? So this one's posted by Minimum Sky 2305. Oh. It's called uh, Chris Shuts Down Bapa. I wonder, do you want to make any predictions or you just want to watch it? Um. Yeah. Predictions are always fun. Uh, let's see. I predict that he's going to say something like, no, nah, that's not true. Okay. I think it's about, first of all, I think it's about pop culture, movies, stuff like that. Oh, that's okay. what I think it is. He does get movies wrong and when they're made, all aspects of a movie. If Baba says something about it, it could be wrong. Where <laughs> yeah. it's shot, yeah. who's in it, yeah. what it's about. Have you guys seen radio? That man could play golf. He <laughs> something like that, yeah. you know. Ready? Classic. Medium guy. His name's Jonathan. That's him right That's there. Him right he works there. with the FBI. Solves, Come on. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. He, he helps solve the <laughs> game. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Annie. He but yeah, dude, that, that is, I nailed that. I did not watch this clip. No, it isn't. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's so funny. I fucking goddamn. I got a good douche right now, dude. Ready? I oh, liked your uh, guess better sir? than mine, though. It yeah. was more fun. Yeah. <laughs> Her killer, beach murders. That um, Gabby girl who went missing, he talked to the parents. Three weeks before she was found dead, he called it. Okay. And he, he has like he works with like over a thousand cases right currently right now. Death solved none of them. No, no, he solved, solved none of them. No, no, he saw. I'm telling you, dude. Uh, I, think one of those. I like when uh, shop does this kind of stuff because Scoob is sort of like a redacted news source. Yeah, you know, be cool. You get yeah, be cool. <laughs> you get the news from him, but it's all wrong, and it's just his interpretation of what he's heard. And it's always it's like it would be like if you asked a child like, "Hey, what's going on in the news?" You know, and they're yeah. like, "Where?" And they force them to answer. Where, 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 where? where? Yeah. Well, well, um, there's a guy in um, there. <laughs> I went to the ice cream store. <laughs> he but, worked for the FBI. But they have to talk about the news and not their day. So yeah. like, you'd be forcing a kid to interpret what they read. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. He goes like this, and they go like this. Okay, we'll search it, and they go and they go. No, nah, we didn't get it. No, that, no, I'm telling you, dude, the FBI uses them. Yeah, okay. That's cool. <laughs> they use them. <laughs> They don't solve shit with him. <laughs> <laughs> and Shao's big into like the ghost hunter shit. So of course he's into like mediums and like dumb stuff like that, which I I, was, I think is fun. Yeah, he's a, he's a fun guy. And we all know how used to uh, this Chris is, you know. He's oh, like, yeah. they won't solve it. They won't. <laughs> they won't. Yeah, it's like the odd couple. Chris is tired of the bullshit. Well, I'm saying like his his own cases. He's like oh. screaming that in his own room. Damn, dude. Yeah, he's yeah. like, oh, they're not going to solve it. They don't ever solve anything. They never solve it. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> I'm going to Pueblo. <laughs> All right, let's see. They, oh, if they do, it's luck. If they do, it's happenstance. <laughs> see what I'm saying, dude? If they do, they fucking got lucky, dude. Come on. Yeah, he's uh, saying it's bullshit. I didn't do anything wrong. She hit me up. Okay, ready? <laughs> if they do, it's a coincidence. No, you know what? It's not because he talks to the dead. No, it is, dude. The, the, <laughs> yeah. the FBI go, we have over 10,000 cold case files. Call Jonathan. You know, Jonathan, he goes, hold on. Bro, this guy watches a show on it. Discovery. He thinks it's real. <laughs> Dude, I, I got him. He did a read. Got me. Got him. He got me. I was laughing at that. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God. Okay, and what did he say? All sorts of crazy. I was crying. You pussy ass bitch. No, bro. I was crying, dude. He told me some stuff about you. <laughs> but I'm alive. He doesn't know about me. I gotta die first. February 2026. Don't drive. That's enough. That's fine. <laughs> Don't drive, dude. Wait. So what did he? What was he talking? All right. So you got to give Bapa his flowers, dude. Oh, how so? That was funny as fuck. What was? What he just said. Why? Because he's going to die on February 26th tw or 2026. Oh, Dalia is? Yeah. He's like, don't drive. Don't drive. I just want to say economy of words as a comedian. <laughs> don't drive with just three, you know, the date. Uh-huh. That's f five words, dude. And that's a joke. And he's making progress, dude. All right. But you didn't even laugh, though. I, I mean, you know, a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> okay. Just, but you're not going to trust the clock. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If it's right again, it's like, oh, okay, but it's going to be wrong for like the next 23 hours. Fair enough. You know? Okay. I, give him his fucking flowers, dude. I mean, it's not funny. What do you think? What do you think, Annie? <laughs> Black boss. <bustle. laughs> Fuck you, Annie. <laughs> Talking to you about. Uh, I mean, you don't have to get specific, but what? yeah, my, my uncle passed away who I was really close with. Yeah. Uh, my girl's grandma passed away. He's mm. like, I don't speak Spanish, man. She's speaking Spanish. She's like, my Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yes. All I heard was chili. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if he said keto or yeah. keto, you know, like what he meant. So, but you know why he's trying to, to be keto. nice. He's trying to be nice to Brendan. He's like, I don't want to tell you that she just asked for hot Cheetos. I don't want to tell you that um, what she asked for was that you stopped doing stand up. Oh, come on, dude. Be cool, <laughs> Brendan. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Actually, good enough. Mm -hmm. I was like, yep, move on from her. It's about me. Yeah. Um, you Google, you, he Googled you and then fucking just. It, he, Kim, Kimbo came through. The, the, the fighter slice? guy? Yeah, Kimbo Slice. <laughs> no, another Kimbo, dude. Well, <laughs> Kimbo Slice came through, dude. I mean, it, the, I like the bit about no, another Kimbo. That's kind of funny. But Kimbo came through what? The medium. So they're saying a medium talks to the dead. Right. Oh, Kimbo was talking as a dead person to Shab yes. through the medium. Yes. That's fascinating. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. They should have started with that. Yeah. Th that's what the whole clue's about. They're talking about a medium. I know, but I'm like, what? I didn't understand that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. Legs of Kimbo. No. 
<laughs> you talk to your dead uncle through some white 30 year old man yeah isn't that cool dude <laughs> no it's you got not anybody you want to reach out to nah no i, I got i got connections now that's it dude i'll tell you no, what i'll talk to them when i die i'll talk to them when i die i'll go looking for them <laughs> jeez yeah so i mean there's no shutting down bapa i think that's what we get away from that clip that I thought he was saying Kimbo came to the medium. I was like, oh, man, that's even crazier. So Kimbo is literally talking. I mean, Kimbo's dead, so that would literally be impossible. But I wasn't sure when this took clip took place, to be honest. Probably this last week. Or I mean, like the story in it. Like, is are they talking about like a rel- a recent medium trip? Yeah. And yeah. You, know what's, uh, you know what's very indicative to me as a Latino male? What's that, Gerardo? Um, what? It's called brujeria. Oh, in yeah. Our, uh, culture. And uh, you'll never catch me with the brujas, dude. Why? It's fucking whack. You don't like it? No, it's like, you know, the, a lot of Mexicans, uh, Latinos, if you will, hold the resentments uh-huh. with people over the smallest things, right? Well, you're wearing brown to my green party. Like, you're thinking about this for 20 years, right? They fu- If they fucking dabble in brujeria, dude, and you fucking open that door, your whole life is fucked, dude. And you know what? This might not be true, dude. But my Mexican brain's telling me that I, there's some fucking legs there, right? So I just think it's very blockbuster of Mr. Shab to dabble into the dark arts, literally, dude. We have what do what do brujerias do? Talk to the dead, fucking. They there's this thing with an egg, dude. Have you heard about this? Mm-hmm. If you get sick, they get a fucking egg. Annie, listen up. They get an egg over your body, dude. They fucking just do the egg, dude. And that's supposed to heal you? Gets the egg, right? And then they fucking, you crack the egg open, it's black on the inside. What the fuck is that about, dude? You've seen that? No, but I'm not going to see it. I don't want to be near it. I don't want to. But That sounds like a magic trick to me. Dude, my mom would be a great guest on the podcast for this kind of stuff because she worked at a blimpy shop down in the South Bay or whatever when she lived down there. And uh, apparently, and she can correct me if I'm wrong. She loves listening to 10 Minutes of Shop. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but she, there was a guy that was working at the shop, the blimpy shop, the sandwich shop, right? And fucking, he would do the limpias. They're called limpias, the cleanings, right? With an egg. And then they, he left the egg on top of the fucking uh, refrigerator or something at mm-hmm. the shop. And then uh, it was owned by her mom and dad, my, my mom, right? My grandma and my grandpa. And they walked in, they saw the fucking egg and they're like, yo, what the fuck is that shit, dude? Because, you know, eggs, blockbuster in our culture. You know, if you don't like brujeria. Oh, okay. It's like... Nobody <laughs> nobody eats eggs? No, 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 no. Limpias. We eat oh, eggs, dude. Yeah. But we don't clean ourselves with eggs, dude. Right. It's, that's the fucking dark world, dude. So it was literally the end that what you're saying is on top of the fridge, there was a black, like the thing opened up. It was, was an a egg. Black, in a like black egg. Maybe some water. I don't know exactly. I got to hit my mom up. I'll come back with the fucking the receipts. But... uh is because her sister, Maddie, shout out, black out the name. Yeah. Uh, asked the guy, the guy was like, you know, if you want, I can give you Olympia. And Maddie's like, where, brother? Give me one, dude. Mm-hmm. She talks like that. And then he did it and then put the egg up there. And then he got fired, dude, the next day because they were like, nah, none of that shit here, dude. Dang. Why are you guys so against it? It's, dude, I don't want to, I don't want to talk to the dead. Like, <laughs> let them rest in peace, dude. And also, too, I don't want to open doors to demons, dude. Okay, so you know you're I mean? you're you might be on the same boat as Shop. He kind of believes in this stuff. I I'm not gonna do it. I'm not in the shop boat, dude. Yeah, he's probably making fun of it. Next thing you know, you're fucking the walls turn black at your house. I mean, he's. It sounds like he's literally saying that he's do. He believes in it. Yeah, he's not. It doesn't sound like he's making fun of it. He's talked to his uncle, Kimbo Slice, probably Eminem, even though he's not dead yet, and some other people. I guess in a meta way, you could say that I believe in it, right? Mm. But. Even saying I don't want to mess with it. Even saying I believe in it is somewhat opening the door. It's like I don't want that door to open, dude. Okay. I don't want to see it. I don't want to be around it. I don't even want to see these clips. That's the show, guys. Just <laughs> I want to see Shop Dude Brewery. Brewery <laughs> dressed with the skull on his face. Day of the Dead shit. I mean, can you imagine how many offensive things he'd say there? I mean, just <sighs> Brewery. I want to see him say that word. Oh, dude, let's make it happen, dude. Yeah. Uh, all right. So this next one's anyway. Sorry for the fucking tangent there, <laughs> but uh, it's not good stuff, dude. Okay. Don't ever get Olympia, Doug. What's worse, uh, Olympia, or what are you more likely to do, Olympia or Kratom? Kratom. <laughs> Maybe Kratom's like white boy dark arts, dude. Mm. The, uh, anyways, so a uh, shout out to uh, Theo Vaughn, too. He says dark arts all the time. But uh, these, these, this is the, and you know what? Dude, I'm the defense against the dark arts, dude. Shout oh, out yeah. Harry Potter. 
There you go. Severus Snape, baby. Mm. Uh, this one's posted by Nar X Punk. It's called, uh, you're talking about the white boy who jokes too much. Pretty sure it's with Tom Segura and Danny Brown. Let's see. here. Yeah. I, I know you like the Danny Brown clips. Oh, yeah. Let's see. You just do, <laughs> you go up there, low, low stakes, mm -hmm. smaller room, um, and like three to five minutes <laughs> of, of like a very generous crowd. Yeah. Fun. Will you come do that? Yeah. I mean, I'm, hey. I'm. I'm at this point in my life, you know, I'm not I'm not scared of it. It's just the fact that I respect it so no, much. No, I appreciate that very you much. Know, and where I don't want to be like the rapper guy is trying comedy no now. Way. You know? <laughs> Here's the good thing, though, is that it's the great equalizer comedy. They yeah. don't give a fuck if you're the rapper guy, the midget guy, the woman, I've seen that whatever. kind of where somebody try to transition and, and do comedy. Here's what's up. People don't really think they respect the Are art. you in town next Tuesday? Yeah, yeah. Great. We'll do it then. Oh, <laughs> He's going to get... He's right. They don't care if you're the rapper guy, the fighter guy, the fighter or the kid, you know, yeah. it's like the hawk or the duck, the hawk or the duck, dude. Yeah. It's really more. It's like, are you blockbuster? Are you Netflix? Yeah. I Can wish you we, do 25 minutes. I wish that was the world we lived in, dude. Yeah. You know, I would live in a totalitarian government if they had to classify everyone into blockbuster or Netflix. You know what I mean? <laughs> a binary world is yes. what you're looking for. Yeah. Uh, total control, dude. That's what I want. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> Good segues, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So this one's posted by parrot underscore hyphen underscore hyphen underscore. Change your name. This one's called uh, Brendan says he grew up doing archery. <laughs> What's the likelihood of that happening, dude? Yeah. It's a question, dude. It's a question. Oh, I think zero percent. Zero percent. I mean, he did, I was just uh, giving job and a uh, weapon like that at any age is dicey, dicey to me. Well, let's see what, how old he was. Hey, dude, have you not that, watched now, a little fact for you? You know, House I grew Dragon? up shooting bows and arrows. I did not know you oh, grew yeah. up shooting bows and arrows. Yeah. You, sure, you grew up shooting arrows with a bow. Good douche. <laughs> good douche, dude. Brian Callen, give him his flowers, dude. That was a good one. That's a good one. It's, it's to, uh, Rogan seems like the kind of guy that would shoot bows and arrows, right? Yeah. So is it the idea that uh, he's just saying that because Rogan did it? So, I don't know. But, yeah. uh, you know, there's a there's an ocean of arrows under Washington. <laughs> Let's see. Arrows! <laughs> <laughs> if I told you I shot bows and arrows, you'd believe me. <laughs> right? Bows and arrows. Now, when did you do that? So, so, since probably oh, sorry, fucking second grade through eighth grade. Okay. So I had my own bow and arrow. We go to the uh, range. You my dad archery? took us every Saturday to the range. SJ. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> there it is. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, Brian's stupid, dude. Ask Jay, dude. Yeah. Jay can confirm. Shab in second grade was given to a bow and arrow and taken to a range because they had rain bow and arrow ranges in Colorado. Look, that seems like something you can look up. Yeah. Look that up, Jamie. Uh, dude, it, wouldn't it be crazy if uh, Jay wasn't his brother? <laughs> like uh, He's lying about that, too. Like Henry Plainview in There Will Be Blood. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Remember the remember we would go to the bows and yes to ask him. Remember how you know what the happens in the scene where Daniel Plainview finds out he's not his brother, right? He's like the the, yeah. the schoolhouse over the the hill or whatever. Well, and the, and that like the way it is with Shab and and Jay is like Shab saying stuff and Jay being like, "What? We didn't do that." Yeah, we didn't go to bows and arrows. It's almost like you're not my brother, but I know you are. And then Shab's in the water just staring at him like he didn't <laughs> go to the fucking bows and arrows, dude. And Shab is not smart enough to figure that out. He, if, if Shab was Daniel Plainview, that guy would, they'd be t in business together forever. Yeah. Also too, Jay is definitely the lie detector, dude. Cause, uh, if Shab's talking to Jay and he, he's making something up, he's lying. And mm -hmm. then he drops an ax J to Jay. Mm -hmm. It's like, come on, dude, what are you doing? You're talking to Jay. <laughs> no, he says to Jay, <laughs> yeah. he lies and he says, no, just ask Jay, but I'm Jay. <laughs> I picture Jay is just all day long. He's like in a, He's like at a tucked in shirt tie and in an office just all day long answering the phone like, oh, no, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Oh, you can transfer that call. Yep. No, no, that didn't happen. Either. <laughs> Bow and arrow. <laughs> oh, really, dude? <laughs> comic book? Oh, yeah, he sold comic book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he said, what? No. no, he's just lying again. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here, dude. See your pullback? Sure. Oh, this what part's funny. <laughs> Okay, so Brendan's about to do comedy, so let's laugh. She says, let me see your pullback. He wants to see what he looks like when he shoots the bow, right? Right. He shoots the arrow. <laughs> Good dude. All right, here. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious, dude. Oh, so he's doing a bit like he doesn't know how to do it? Yeah. Then there's killing in this room. Dog, 
Brendan's bouncing back. Dude, check out his mangina, though. Oh, shit. Brandon's got a mangina. Look at that. You paused right on the mangina. Did you just, uh, what are you, a chef? Oh, uh, dude, I'm dude, I'm cooking hot today, dude. Yeah. That's a mangina. Josh Wolf is loving that bit. And there's no Photoshop, dude. That no, is, this is not Photoshop. That's just a pause on the mangy. That is a black hole of vagina, dude. Yeah. Thank him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You like your manginas? You like your manginas? Thank him. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, he has studied, studied ancient that. Japanese archery, yeah, obviously. My dad, my, my I feel dad. like you're doing that wrong. I don't know. <laughs> no, didn't you see the pictures? Yeah, that's how they were doing. Yeah. yeah, dude. Funny as fuck, dude. Yeah. Fuck the haters, B. That's funny. <laughs> it's a painted narrative you got going on. You don't. You don't agree. Um, because you know, typically in other podcasts where the people agree with each other, you'd be like, "Yeah, dude, that's fucking funny, dude." Straight talk wireless. Uh, it's not awful. Yeah. I mean, it's like, that's like a decent, it didn't make me laugh out loud or anything. I think I'm, I understand why you told me to focus on it. Cause mm -hmm. I'm like, sort of like, sometimes I'm not always focusing. Yeah. Well, but, you uh, can't stop thinking about leaving uh, yeah. your dog at the pound, dude. Yeah. The dog is distracting me, but, um, I, I think that sort of took me out of it a little bit. Oh, what? And telling you to focus. Yeah. I was like, cause then I was like watching it and, and then I watched it and I didn't laugh. Dude, hilarious. Bitch. You didn't laugh either, though. It's called it's PC, dude. It's physical comedy. You wouldn't understand anything about that, dude. <laughs> you and your wittiness and cleverness, dude. Fuck, <laughs> fuck you, dude. <laughs> fuck you. Uh, okay, this one's posted by Brendan is a hack. Not <laughs> heard it both ways, B. Uh, and also, too, I hate doing this bit where I love Brendan Shaw because then you say something for real, for real, and it makes me look like I really love Brendan Shaw. You know, <laughs> I'm like fuck. But he's awesome. I love him. Yeah. It's called, uh, I think it's safe to say Renella doesn't find Brendan and funny. And uh, this is probably my favorite clip of the week. Oh, wow. Okay, 100%. Cool. Dude. And you'll see why, dude. Let's see if you laugh at this one, dude. You fucking bitch. <laughs> Let's see. Ready? Blood pressure. Of course, all that. Very down. rough year. Yeah. Someone stole money from us. That's right. But okay. you know what? The Arab one. You got money stolen from you? Oh. oh. But money. you know what? I come from uh, the Taco School of Learning. Good, I went, good. Yeah, as we say. <laughs> a lot of money. The Arowana's really bad. <laughs> yeah, dude. They're supposed to be bring good luck, too. it have been tough this year, though. Yeah, that's yeah. tough. Maybe if they get bigger, they'll be better. Blood pressure. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> no, you're right. That is the best clip. We've been doing it so much, and then he did it, and then those shoes. Well, also, too, I don't want there to be any confusion. I started doing it because Shab was doing it. Right. So yeah, yeah. like, people were like, what made you do the good? It's like, dude, Shab's doing it. Yeah, you 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 started doing it, and then we said it on the pod, so we just like can't stop. <laughs> Have we figured out is that magic mind on the table? Uh, probably. I don't. Do we? Care? I want to know what it is. Okay. And then what's that book? Don't bum. don't burn the country. I wonder if that's that guy's book. Steve Rinelli, yeah, probably. They should have put it like a little bit uh out more. You could see it. I mean, now it's like rent. They're more likely to buy the. Black Buffalo Tobacco Alternative or Magic Mine than that book. It's not really in the frame. Or Rain. And they're covering up the rain there. Mm -hmm. I'm a merch guy. I mean, we got rain right here, baby. Yeah, we're selling merch. In the, I mean, we're selling rain and they're not even giving us any money, Bob. Yeah, but dude. Daddy. dude, honestly, rain did uh, DM me. They're like, yo, sales are through the roof since you guys started putting oh, it up. Oh, really? I was like, yo, give us a, give us a percent. 1.6 million they owe us, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even laughing, dude. Yeah, Good. dude. We're, yeah. we're pretty angry at the new CEO of Rain, yeah. Colin Thompson, I think his name is. Yeah. He cut us out of the deal. Mm -hmm. But you know what? We're going to bet on ourselves, B. Yes, sir. And Annie. Annie's not even looking at me anymore. No, she's out of it. She's upset with how I handled the situation. She wanted us to get the 1.6. Yeah, she but misses you, dude, her daddy. People tank. steal money from us? I say, Good. And I buy a truck. <laughs> TRX or Raptor? Both. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. I like it. Uh, really quick. I just love this. Like you first, doubled the trucks up. I want you to know that Steve Ranella would have fucking laughed, dude. It's the whole clip is like, he doesn't find them funny. He would have fucking laughed. If it wasn't for who? Brendan Cooney. Uh, Bapa. Brian Callen <laughs> jumping the gun on the punchline, dude. I know you oh. saw that. What was that? Let's watch it. Oh, but money. you know what? I come from uh, the Jocko school of learning. I'm Good. Like, Oh, what the wow, fuck, dude? dude. Yeah, wait. Wait for your co-host, man. Look at this guy right here. That's the face Lips of comedy. Ready. He was about... Dude, timing is what comedy is all about, dude. <laughs> why, are you gonna, so funny. why are you going to cut off Bapa, dude? Yeah, you got to let him go. Let him go, B. That's It's so infuriating. But you know what? I come from uh, the Jocko School of Learning. I'm Good. Like, 
<laughs> he wasn't even finished saying learning. How funny would it be if like Callan said good and then Shav, you know how he says good right after it, Rennell is like good. <laughs> that would have been and awesome. And then Jocko pops up from behind the couch and he's like good. <laughs> Tank comes out of nowhere. Rarf. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Where is Tank, dude? Um, alrighty, so let's go to the next clip, dude. That one, th- it doesn't get better than that, dude. Just mm-hmm. Steve Rinella just looking at him like, you guys got how much money stolen and it's good? What the fuck is happening here, dude? Uh, anyways, this one's posted by Haphazard. Great guy. Never met him. Uh, it's called They Have a Medium on the Show. Even the ghosts are big fans of Bapa. Let's see here. Mark. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, so he was like, there's a lot of people coming through. He's like, a, a guy that starts with a K that you fought with. And my, I'm like, I follow. He's like, he keeps showing you guys, like fighting. I'm like, I thought. I'm like, nah, nah I don't want anybody that died. Kimbo, yeah. Kimbo uh-huh. came through. He's just saying it was unexpected, like our relationship. That was sweet. And he's like, all right, well, I have a loud guy here, and he's dressed like a bodybuilder. And I was like, uh, who, who is that guy? <laughs> who is know. that guy, dude? Is that the medium? Is well, Hap <laughs> says that they have a medium on the show. They have a quote, quote medium. So that's the medium, that guy with the baseball cap. I said, quote, quote. I feel so stupid. What is it supposed to be in quotation marks? Quote, unquote. Right? Quote, and unquote. Oh, instead of quote, end quote? Yeah. Oh, quote. I said, quote, quote, dude. They have a quote, quote, <laughs> a medium, quote, dude. Quote, yeah. Nobody would have noticed if I didn't say it. No, I didn't even notice, man. This guy, that's, he does not strike me as someone who's a medium. I, would th- I always think like women are mediums. I feel like he's more of a mangina. He's got he's got a little Gina there, dude. Do you see that? <laughs> that one he's there's shadow over it. Yeah. There's shadows. He's covering. got a shadow band. <laughs> <laughs> Your medium shows up. He just looks like a frat guy. Yeah. Oh, dude, like and he says frat guy shit. Uh, I'm getting right now. He's like this guy that was on the fighter in the queue with you, dude. Like you said these five videos online. It's yeah. Like a K Kimbo. And I was like, oh, Kimbo slice. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, dude. But he's not really talking. You guys are fighting each other right now, dude. Yeah, dude. He just told me that you had to drink a beer, dude. You had to freaking like crack open yeah. a shotgun a beer, dude. Oh, dude, your your mom, your 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 girl, your wife's gr- um grandma, she's kick standing in the back right now, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not worth it. I stunned yeah. it so much. Yeah. I'm hearing right now that like your co- you have like a co host who's like he's like G word. Like it's a, it begins with a G, dude. Like, do you know? Gay? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Fucking gay. Fucking gay, dude. <laughs> Fucking gay, dude. Rip another one. <laughs> All right. Oh, dude, yeah. I'm, I'm talking to a former LA Times uh, reporter, dude. <laughs> he's saying, dude, I don't like what he's saying about your co host, dude. Sounds like a lot of bullshit, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can't talk. All right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he just keeps going. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Uh, he goes, starts with a P. I'm like, Pax, my Uncle Pax. He's like, yep. Pax is here. So, the mo- <laughs> so yeah, he, he, dude, he I could be up, a medium yeah, and yeah. talk to Brendan. Yeah, he just looks up shops, family members' names. No, I could probably be your medium, dude. What he's doing is saying, like, there's a P. I've seen a P, and he's with Pax. Yeah, you know? but I'm saying, like, the medium, it sounds like he was just, like, looked up the the names of family members of Shab and was like, because with a P, you know. You understand P? Shab's giving him the answer. He doesn't, you don't have to do any lookup before. But he says the P thing. He's like, it begins with a P, and then Chubb's like, because he knows that Yeah, Chubb's but if you would have said, like, it begins with a C, he'd be like, Cheetos. You know, he would have just, and then he's like, yeah, I'm seeing Cheetos. <laughs> Cheetos. You know, he's just like anything, dude. He just does gringo poppy stuff. He's us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's not a medium. He just watched the gringo poppy one time. <laughs> he's like, your, your mom was on the phone. She wasn't, she wasn't going to get something, but she was. <laughs> she was. She really likes but it. She wanted, now she, oh, dude, donuts. She brought up donuts. <laughs> donuts. The vaccine. You're not anti-vax, but like that, that there was something you saw, like a guy, <laughs> maybe the first guy to get yeah. the vaccine. Yeah. So I was like, this guy is amazing. Uh, I, I don't know why, but it looks like you were scared with, about the security of your house. So you got a ring camera, <laughs> right? There's something big. Yeah. What's big? Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing shoes. Uh, Uggs? Are they Ugg boots? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. That's a huge dick. Oh, whoa. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, dude. <laughs> Be cool. Be cool. <laughs> Be cool. Dude, Annie is out. Yeah, she's relaxing. Let's see here. But majority of it was Pax. Oh. And just saying how, like, he's so proud of me and, like, everything I built. And um, also how, like, he's like, I know you went through a really tough time. And you have to keep your head down, just what you're doing. You get you're on the other end of this. Well, I'm so proud of you. Like most people, would fold up shop, and say, tell Brian same thing. I know he went through a tough time. Tell him <laughs> to, you guys are doing the right thing. 
<laughs> Wait, your uncle told Brian the same thing? No, the medium. The medium is telling him oh, okay. that like, or I mean, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, your uncle. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just kidding. The uncle, you're right. The yeah. uncle is telling him about himself and Brian. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The uncle's a social media manager. <laughs> the uncle cares deeply. His favorite <laughs> podcast, even as a ghost, yeah. is still the fighter and the and kid. They're not even talking about the tough time with uh, Tiger Belly. They're not talking about Gringo Poppy. They're talking about their engagement numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, the, number, the, the numbers the are good, dude. <laughs> you know, I've always been a numbers guy. Yeah. He starts being like, mijo, mijo. Like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> mijo, mijo. Mijo, mijo. Taquitos. Taquitos. That's, no, keto, bitch. That's the tough time he's talking about. <laughs> I know there's a tough time your grandma or your wife's <laughs> mom made taquitos when you should have been keto. <laughs> <laughs> mediums are just people that make you like they're like oh yeah i'm talking to your uncle right now he still thinks you're cool <laughs> he thinks you're great also all your friends are great yeah yeah and it's and it's a uh, bad times guess what they're over <laughs> oh really dude <laughs> <laughs> okay john lennon <laughs> and i'm telling you, you guys are on the other end of it keep doing what you're doing it's gonna pay off hmm. come on man mark yeah come on man <laughs> come on man <laughs> Is that the end of the clip? Yeah. The ghost was nice to Brian. That's nice. Yeah. What do you think about that? You have to be dead to be nice to Brian. <laughs> <sighs> dude, I don't know about mediums, dude. Medium, that shit's all fucking bad. I, I mean, I just a scam, but it's not like a really mean scam because it's like you're just being like, oh, like I said, every, everyone loves you. They're watching you. They want you to do well. Mm. Things are going to look up. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. if it's, I'm not saying it's for sure not real. I, I kind of, it bothers me when people are like, it doesn't, and you're stupid and all that. I'm just saying most likely it's bullshit. Yeah. But yeah. if you like it, good. If you yeah, look, I could be wrong. If you look up a medium in the dictionary, the definition is blockbuster. Yeah. Well, it's like if a big guy gets in a small car and your only takeaway is that, you know, how does he get in there? Yeah. And then, but then sometimes you look at a, a big guy in a small car and you're like, what? <laughs> yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's the same way I feel about media. <laughs> so both ways be? Both ways. I see it <laughs> both ways as always. All right. We got one more clip, guys. This one's called, uh, un or this one's posted by Uncle TYS. <laughs> Peak redaction. Has clips about me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or <man>. you? <laughs> I'm ridiculous. <ridiculous>. Yeah, I'm going to build a truck to walk on. <laughs> Let's see here. No one in here believes medium stuff? Ghost? Hey, man. No. <laughs> oh, you guys are born, man. No, dude. Oh, you guys are weak. Bro, but uh, you also believe in COVID, so it doesn't count. No. <laughs> well, wait. So you don't count. Count. What do you mean? <laughs> doesn't count. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Doesn't count. Such a good, good catchphrase for him. <laughs> it's funny to not to believe wholeheartedly in ghosts and mediums, but not believe in a disease that people you know have had. <laughs> Like Rogan had COVID. He admitted he had COVID. Yeah. So it, it did exist. <laughs> at least. See. Believe in COVID. <laughs> you know what I mean, dude. This, come on. It is pandemic. a pandemic. Well, believe what exactly? Yeah. yeah. Come on. Don't that what? Do that this. you Why can you get COVID? This? You can get COVID. Well, I've had it four times. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> you believe in it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's so good. Sorry, Annie. You, you're uh, not built for this show. But, um, but, but we'll never give you up. <laughs> yeah, we gotta watch it again. Oh, but, you want to watch the whole I thing again? Well, I like I like how he says uh, I had it four times, dude. Let's just real quick comment on this outfit, dude. Yo, you think it's crazy? It's amazing, bro. It's it's a deep V, right? Deep V, maybe not, maybe button up with a little loose button if you. Oh, ah, okay, okay. And uh, gold chains, dude. Yeah, and a golden hat because guess what. It's the golden shower. It's the dude. golden hour. I think the hat is what makes it weird. Other than that, I think it's pretty normal for Bapa. I was right? trying to give Matt McCorkle a shout out there, but you shot me. Oh. Is the golden shower, dude. What's that? What Matt McCorkle. Or what's his name? Oh, oh, Sean shit. McCorkle. Sean McCorkle. Sean McCorkle. McCorkle. Okay. I'm yeah. thinking about Matt Mitrione. And oh, Sean. show? Sean oh, yeah. McCorkle said uh, yeah. that uh, he had a, uh, this is another post in Chang's. I don't know mm. if you saw it, but he's like, yeah, Brendan's on the golden shower. <laughs> Hilarious. Saying that he's talking to mediums. And guess what they contacted him when they're contacting the dead and messing with Ouija board. Way too much setup to, for the little punchline. <laughs> right. And then the punchline is his stand-up career, dude, is dead. <laughs> that he was contacting his stand-up career. <laughs> oh, one of the posts, yeah. Well, if you li if you uh, haven't seen it, we did two interviews with uh, Sean in yeah. the past. Daddy. What is his name? Big Sexy? Yeah, Big Sexy. Big Sexy Daddy. Yeah, so check that out. Those yeah. are especially... 
the first one uh, blew us all away. Changed the game forever. Oh, so yeah. check that out. Yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah, you know, and also just don't talk to mediums, dude. You that's know. that's Gerardo's painted narrative. I don't care. Maybe you go to a medium and you hear from Kimbo Slice. Sounds pretty blog or Netflix to me. So uh, true. Talk to a medium. Ask Kimbo <laughs> for the deets, the facts. You yeah. know what I mean? The, if you can get to a medium and you can get Kimbo on the line from the medium, ask him if he's been talking to Shab. That's what I want to know. Because <laughs> yeah. that just, that puts the whole, like, him making up he's talking to celebrities on a different level. If he's now talking to, not actually lying about talking to dead celebrities. Yeah. That's a whole different thing. That's different. Also, too, if you do talk to a medium, ask to speak to Eli from There Will Be Blood mm-hmm. and ask him, did Daniel Plainview drink his milkshake? Or say that. Eli is a movie character, yeah. so the medium may look at you like you're redacted when you do that. That's a good medium, then. If the medium just starts <laughs> acting like they know what they're talking about, you know what I'm saying? If the medium starts doing movie voices, if he starts doing impersonations, yeah. you might just be on our show. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Rainy train. I am the third revelation. <laughs> We're going to watch There Will Be Blood again yeah. today. There'll be a soundboard. There will be blood stuff. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. Bye. Later. Ridiculous.